guys, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So today's video I'm going to share some transitional outfit ideas just because this weather has been truly mental. Like right now it's sunny, 10 minutes ago it was raining, it's probably going to start raining again in 10 minutes time and it feels like an impossible thing to get dressed for. Um, but I always quite like this time of year for getting dressed because it's quite challenging and you're at that point where you're making the most of your favourite summer pieces that you've loved through the warmer months and then going into the pieces that you also can't wait to wear. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. This video is also made in collaboration with W Concept, which is this amazing online shop, shop with literally thousands of independent retailers and designers. I have spent hours <laughs> browsing this website, so I'm going to link the specific pieces that I'm showing you in the description box, but also link some of my favourite designers that I found on there. You, you guys are going to love it. There's, there's just so, so many things to choose from. And it's all, like I said, independent designers. So it's slightly different. Not the typical things that we're seeing on the high street. It's, it's just amazing. So I'm really excited to be working with them on this, especially because it wasn't something that I'd heard of before. And then was really excited to discover them. So I feel excited about sharing it, but passing it forward to you guys as well. Um, so yeah, there is four pieces from them, from different brands, which has been sent sent to me by them for this video and um, so I will let you know clearly which ones are from them throughout and then where everything else is from as well but like I said everything will be linked in the description box including some more general brands that W Concept have there's also a 10% promo code that's going to be down there as well if you guys want to shop anything and um, they have a huge price range of different brands on there as well so there's some very premium prices and lots of more affordable pieces as well so um, it's a field day basically uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Like I said, I've got five outfits. Um, some of the pieces are new. All the W Concept pieces are obviously new to me. Everything else are things that's already been in my wardrobe that you guys will have seen before, but I'll talk through everything in detail as we go as well. Okay, so the first look is all around this Totem jumper, which you've seen a few times now. I ordered it off um, net porter in the sale. Uh, Totem, I think, is probably my favourite brand ever, I think I'd have to go with. And I've wanted this for ages and then was super chuffed when I found it in the sale. I've got the medium and it is pretty huge as you can see. But I'm really enjoying wearing bigger jumpers like this over jeans as opposed to always being tucked in. I also have underneath a tank top. This is one of the pieces from W Concept, which I'm going to show you properly in a second. I've got a second outfit with this. Uh, but the reason I've kept it on under this is because it's got a really nice high neck. And I like the look of just something peeking out from under your jumper. So I've been wearing something like this a lot. If I've been wearing a navy blue jumper or a black jumper with just a white high neck top underneath and then with a cream jumper, something darker. Um, I just think it's a really subtle detail that adds something, something a bit extra. And the neckline of this tank top, which you, like I said, you're going to see properly in a second, is perfect for this kind of styling. Okay, the jeans I've got on are my uh, Levi's ribcage ones. They sent me these quite a few months ago. Um, and I've only really just gotten into how cropped they are on me. If you're shorter, these would be like the perfect jeans. They fit so well over the bum, it's unbelievable. They're, well, they're called the rib cages and they took, they're really cinching you in at your ribs and everything. But they're really high waisted, really tight over the bum, really, really flattering. I've been getting lots of compliments on them. And I've recently gotten into the shorter leg length like, because it's quite nice for a transitional looks to have more of your ankles out, um, especially when you've got something really big and top heavy like this jumper on. I think having your ankles showing and a bit of skin there balances it really nicely. And then I wanted to accentuate that by having a really slim, slim fitting flattering shoe. That's really hard to say. <laughs> slim fitting flattering shoe. So I've gone with my Manolo Blahnik, um, what are these called? Ballerimu? Something like that? Probably not that. Uh, There's blue suede ones that I've got. Um, and they've got the slightly pointed toe, so they're, they're super flattering. I just think it feels like quite a chic French girl out on a Sunday, going to go to the bakery, ride my bike maybe, kind of a day, kind of an outfit. Um, and yeah, obviously practical too, because then if you get too hot, you can whip, whip off your jumper and you've got something underneath, because that's been the problem is whether it's like really hot then really cold and then you don't know what's happening or it's just been a nightmare okay this is the tank top in full view this is from a brand called nothing written and it is a ribbed knit like you can see tank top really really simple i'm very much into a knitted tank top because 
kind of knitwear, autumn, winter, tank top, spring, summer. What a perfect meeting in the middle. Um, and I also think they're quite flattering. This, I haven't got a bra on here. And this is quite thick, so I don't think you could really see very much nipple at all. I think it would be really easy to not wear a bra with this if you weren't that comfortable with your nipples being really on show as well. Um, and just, I love the neckline and everything. And I really like, I love the look of racer tanks, but sometimes I feel like they can cut in a little bit too much here. I find them not very flattering on my shoulders. Whereas this is just the perfect cut in through the shoulders. So it doesn't, doesn't make your shoulders look too big or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this. I'm going away next week, my last holiday of the summer, and I'm definitely gonna take this with me. But like I said, I think it would be something you could wear a lot going forward as well. So I've just styled it with, um, these jeans let me tilt you down so these jeans which are from weekday they're the weekday lark jeans and um, i bought them quite a while ago I did a denim come shopping with me a few months ago and this is when i got them and um, they are a very very dark indigo denim and they're super tight on the waist and slightly ballooned through the leg so they're really flattering because they cinch you in at the right point but they still have a straight leg fit to them I love the fact they're a dark wash because you could definitely dress them up a little bit. Just put on my Chanel belt, my vintage Chanel belt, and also my church brogues with some black socks too. Um, socks and brogues is just still a look that I absolutely love. Um, and I was sort of a bit torn on what jacket I could wear with this. I've recently been re-wearing a lot my Chloe jacket. I love this jacket so much. I got this last year, it was sent to me from the outnet around this time last year and I, I wore it so much and I still love it and the shape of it is just the best it, it's so gorgeous and I love the cropped length and I think the crop length of it looks great with these jeans too um, and this would give it a more casual vibe for sure like something kind of laid back because of how oversized it all is and the colours of the jacket complement the colour of this tank really nicely I like the kind of it's almost like a dark tealy blue colour, which I think is a bit different, but looks great with denim. Um, and then for a bag, I also have, this is another piece that's sent to me from W Concept. It's from a brand called Marge Sherwood, um, and it is a bag which you can wear three ways. One of the three ways wouldn't be my bag, ha, huh, pun intended, because you can wear it on you like this. Although holding it there, you can just thread the strap through. So yeah, it comes with two different straps. And it's just got this bit at the back which you would thread the one that you would need to wear as a belt. Um, I've just I've seen that style on other people and it's never been never been something that I love. I don't know, obviously I've got a belt on with this, but I, I wanted to show you you could style it like this anyway, just in case it was something you were into. But I don't think that's my that's my cup of tea, wearing it like that. But thankfully you can also wear it crossbody with a long body strap and the shorter one, which I'm gonna do now. But I want to show you that was an option in case it was some everything something that you guys liked. But I think it's just not for me because it doesn't feel very classic wearing a bag like that. Um, but I like the fact it comes with two different straps so you've got the options. Okay, so I've put it onto the shorter strap length, which is how I would wear it with this outfit. Just especially because this jacket, the, it's like bat winged. So if you wear something cross body, you can already see that it bunches up all in here. So you need something that you can wear down one side. So this is perfect for it. Um, and yeah, it's just this little chocolatey brown, which is a really nice colour actually. And croc embossed square bag, which I think would be something I would end up wearing more in the evenings. Just because when I go out in the day, I always have my phone, my camera just a lot of rubbish with me. Everything but the kitchen sink, basically. Um, whereas evenings, I'm comfortable taking less, but um, I think it looks really, really, really great with, with this bag and this entire outfit. Also, if you just took the socks off with something like this, it would make it feel a lot more summery. I think the socks make it really wintry because it's almost like having a boot on because you've got so much heavy black at the bottom, but I love the look with socks, but I do think it would work just as well without and would make it feel quite different. Um, and then, as with the other outfit, you could so easily just whip off the jacket if it suddenly gets hot, which, like I said, it has been doing, um, and still got an outfit that will look and feel really, really nice. It actually feels quite more evening-y with, without the jacket, so maybe a black blazer would work real, really well with it for an evening look. Okay, this blazer is the piece that I've been most excited to share with you guys because I think you're going to love it. Um, it's from, this is also from W Concept. The brand of this one is called Anderson Bell, which is one of my favourite brands I found on there. Um, and it is a linen blend blazer. It is beautiful. It, the, the details on it are amazing. So firstly, the buttons. 
Each a slightly different shape and a slightly different color, which I absolutely love. And it's the same on both of the cuffs too. And also you can see the other detail here where it's two-toned with this amazing seam and stitching all through the top, which then goes along the back there. I think it's just so nice. It's the perfect amount of oversized. I've seen so many oversized blazers everywhere, especially on, you know, like those vintage resell Instagram sites, which I really like, but I still prefer something a little bit more structured and tailored. Um, and this is perfect. The shorter lapels always make something feel like a more traditional tailoring as opposed to really long, deep ones. Um, but it's still got a really nice loose fit to it. The linen is really, really lovely. I've actually worn this once already. I wore it out the other evening. Um, and you can see, it, I haven't ironed it since I've worn it, and it's really not creased at all, which is amazing for linen. It must be a linen blend, you know, if it's doing that. 53% polyester, 47% linen. And it really hasn't creased, but it feels more like linen than, than anything else. And I think you can tell even the way that you can see the texture on camera here. Um, this is a piece I'm just so excited about. I know I'll get so much wear out of it. Um, you guys know how much I love a blazer anyway. And to have something that's so lightweight, this would also look great with big black chunky knits under it, a big cream chunky knit. Or like, I'd love to wear it with a cream cable knit, so you've got like a knitted texture with this. I think I actually have a cream cable knit, like a proper fisherman's knit is what I would imagine. Um, but for now, that's maybe more of a wintry look. I've just styled it with a white t-shirt. This is one from Under the Stories, one of the really soft ones. And then, let's do the tilt down, um, my Ray wool trousers, which I bought off matches in... Uh, April. Um, I love these trousers so, so much, and you guys too, do too. I always get loads of compliments on them on Instagram, especially. They're such a great fitting trouser. I think they still have them in stock, so I'll link them in the description box too. But they are 100% wool, so they're incredibly warm. I wore them out the other evening, and then suddenly the temperature heated up, and like my knees were sweating, which I didn't think was possible. Um, so if you wear them when it's too hot, it's a mistake, but they're great for winter. And then my Vans slip ons. I've been wearing these a lot recently because I started wet slipping, slipping them on, as you do, to and from the gym and got really into wearing them. Um, so now I've been wearing them with non-gym outfits as well, but I, they're kind of scruffy, which I really like with outfits like this where everything's a bit more tailored. And then I haven't lengthened the strap length on this, so I would wear it quite short and crossbody, but it matches the buttons. <laughs> really really nicely this little croc bag um and then i think it would make it really evening appropriate as well probably not the shoes i could definitely slip on my manolo and um, well, slip on again yeah that made it so much more evening -y. i really 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 love how how both of them look i think the vans are more i don't feel like i go out in evenings that much if i'm honest so the vans are way more appropriate for my lifestyle um but yeah this blazer is just Gorgeous. Like I said, I really want to wear it with a fisherman's knit. I'm just going to... I don't have door handles on my wardrobe, so that's how I have to open it. I don't think I've got, like... Oh, I've got this big one from Under the Stories. Right, let me just slip this on with it so I can see what it looks like. This is from Under the Stories last year, but now I'm just itching to see what this would look like. Right, it's August, so it's very specifically against the rules to wear a jumper this thick. But just for future outfit planning, I think this looks so nice. I love the two textures. I think I'd prefer it even more if it was a, um, a crew neck knit like this, not a turtle neck, but I don't have a, a crew neck cream one which has got this much texture in it. But the length of these jumpers is so good. This makes me, I don't want to waste away the summer or wish away the year, but this makes me excited for it to be even cooler when you can wear stuff like this out and about because I think that is such a good combination. I'm so chuffed with this blazer. Right, second to last look. This is super different in a silhouette to all of the others, but it's something that I'm really into, which is basically dressing like a schoolgirl on her way to a PA lesson. I think it's been a really strong aesthetic of the summer, like lots of PE style shorts with the drawstring, worn with big t-shirts, socks and trainers. It's just been such a look. So I'm just gonna move these, these dirty socks out of the shot because that's gross um but i've been really really into it it's probably not everyone's vibe and i think it's something that isn't going to be a classic look for me and might be one that i look back on and i'm like that was a weird style moment you were having but i've so thoroughly enjoyed it this summer that i'm just rolling with it and then trying to transition it through 
and just adding a knitwear onto it makes it even more school-esque which I quite like. Uh, this jumper is one from And Other Stories. I, well, haven't had this exact jumper, but I think I got this one last winter and it is literally one of my all-time favourite jumpers and I shrunk it in the wash. And I was so upset about the whole thing. And then a, I, can't, I think it was a viewer or maybe a reader of my blog, one of the two, emailed me being like, Lizzie, it's back in stock, get it now. So I did, so I have it again. I'm so pleased because it's just such a great jumper. It's so easy to wear. Um, I've done the layering thing that I was talking about with a um, really skinny, a really, really nice skinny, um, oh, what's that, a label? A really nice skinny white ribbed top from Vince. It's long sleeves, so you can also have the sleeves coming out from the bottom here. Um, this top's beautiful on its own, but it's also a really great layering piece because that neckline is so high and so tight. And then this pleated skirt is from Sunspell. They sent me this a few months ago and I haven't shown you guys it yet because I took it to the tailors to have it taken up. Um, so I've only just gone and got it again. Uh, so it was quite a bit longer initially, just at a length that I always find quite unflattering. But they've got such knobbly knees. If I wear something that hits just above my knee, it just makes me look like I'm wearing something that's too big because I look like this tiny little child with her knobbly knees sticking out from under it. So I always feel a lot more confident in something when I've got a bit of thigh showing, like it balances out the knobbly knees. Um, so yeah, I really like this skirt. I've been finding it really hard to wear. I constantly want to wear it because I think it's super cool, but then it's almost too schoolgirl-esque sometimes. And then I just got on my old super, the, the old really gross cream ones that I always wear and cannot be parted with. Um, and yeah, I really like this outfit. I think this might be lots of people's least favourite one. And it definitely feels like the one that's the most fun and a bit, the most probably trend driven one out of all of the outfits. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's super unflattering and everything. And I'm just like the whole feel of it it feels really easy and like i said this skirt i love but i've been so struggling to wear it's like a pleated kilt skirt very much like a school skirt um and i really want to nail styling it and it's been a piece that i'm struggling with a bit um, but i'm going to persevere and this definitely works for me okay guys we're finishing up with i think my favorite outfit of this whole video the trousers are also from w concept from a brand called kinder salmon Kinder Salmon, yeah, that's definitely right. It took me a quick few attempts to read that one. Um, and they are this, what colour is this? Like grey, with a slightly green undertone perhaps. Um, let me take off the jacket so you can see. Tailored trousers that happen to be the most perfect length for me. It's gonna tilt you down a bit so you can so you can see really well. Do you like the, the mess that's been increasing on the bed as well with every time I've gotten changed? Um, yeah, there are these tailored trousers quite a loose fit to them, um, it's quite a wide-ish leg, pleated through the front, um, they're so, so nice. I love how masculine they are, um, but also they just fit me really, really well through the waist and everything and skim over the bum really nicely. And um, they're quite like a textured fabric to them, which I don't think you'll be able to see that well on this, but they just look and feel great. I styled them with a really tight tank top just because they're quite big and billowy through the crotch. I think you need something quite slim fitting up top to balance that out. This is from Vince. It's literally skin tight. Like, it pushes your boobs down so much. It's so tight. And then I've added on the Supergas again. I always feel great in them. And then the Anderson Bell blazer too. Because I think it just is like the perfect colour scheme. I really, really love this outfit. You could easily put some sandals on or some heels on with this to make it more evening appropriate too. But as you know... I like to keep something a bit casual in there too. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my favourite. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to end this video here. I'll tilt you up so you can see my beautiful visage. Um, thank you so, so, so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for W Concept for sponsoring this. So excited to be working with them, especially, like I said, when it's a brand I didn't know of and can share with you guys. So links for everything in the description box. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one, which I think is going to be a big wardrobes essentials video, hopefully. Um, so I will see you in that one.